Hello, my name is Nathan Stanford Sr. and we're going to be looking at PHP with HTMX or HTMX on PHP. So I know there's a lot of different ways you can do a lot of this code without HTMX. There's some JavaScript you can use. There's some um, jQuery you can use. Of course, normally when you would use an AJAX call in jQuery, you would be pulling back JSON. And then you would be having to loop through the JSON, come up with an answer, how to display it, uh, make sure you're not getting the you know bad data, make sure you're getting good data and all that different things. This is a lot simpler in my mind. Yes, there's other ways to do everything you do in life. So let's look at an example of how PHP with HTMX does with the dropdown. So let's just say I start typing Cleveland. It pulls up all of them in first name, last name, email address, and city that matches CLE. So if we look at city, T-U-H-E, probably not but one person. Let's delete that. Now we got that one. Let's see how many people are from Harvard. Let's see J-A. Looks like there's some people from Japan in the email. So we can look at all of these and we can get every one of them so let's look at the code so if you said okay it's that Cleveland and then fill out the rest of the form and hit submit it would pass in the ID that this one's connected to in the select down so let's look at the code now so first I have that index form that's outside that gives you know tells you the links to all of the HTMX code that I'm writing for PHP the first one is the drop-down folder. So if we go to the drop-down folder, there's two files. There's the index file. Now it's got a header, it's got a footer, and if you go to the header and footer, so if we look at the footer first, there's not much in there. The header is not a lot in here. It does have an include to bootstrap to make it look nicer. It's got the CSS bootstrap and it's got a defer for the JavaScript bootstrap. And if you don't know what that is for, when you're writing uh, JavaScript and you're adding including JavaScript usually you would put it right before the body at the end of the HTML because it would run it in the spot that it was in when it hit there and you would be less likely to have issues or errors but because we put this defer in it automatically runs it at the end of the script anyway now the other one we have here is HTMX 2.0.0 so the nice thing is that will get us our HTMX. And we have the nav bar in this header. So we go in here and all this is, is HTMX, the home. So when we go back and look, that's this stuff up here. So we don't really care about that. What we care about is the rest of this. Here is the input field. So let's look at all, the, let's look, start looking at the variables that's in the input field. Now I have a linter that will change the way this is laid out when I hit save, but let's first look at what's in here. The first one, type, you already know if you've been coding in HTML for very long at all. That's the type of input field that you're doing. The ID and the name. ID is a unique ID of this particular search element or this particular input value. Uh, so the name is the name of the input value that's submitted when you hit the submit button and you go to the next page. Now, in this HX that's going to do JavaScript for you, going to do an HX query for you, you can do HX get and you can do HX post. So HX get will pass variables. So it'll take this search and it will put after PHP, it put question mark search equals and then whatever the value from the search is so really on the next page you should always have a search value well here at hrx trigger is as you're typing in the input field the key up is every time you let go of a key if the data in the search input has changed and it's been less than 500 milliseconds or half a second it will then run to filter.php and take the results of whatever that is and put it inside of the ID drop down. So if we look down here, the select box 
is called drop down. You could even name this here something else if you wanted, but the ID is going to put the options in here. So what is in there? So let's go up here to the filter. So now in the filter, we include the config file. Well, what's the config file? It's just a simple file I put together that you don't want to put in GitLab or GitHub or any version control system because it will have your super secret password here in the password. Um, right now, I have no password because I am simply doing demos and it's only on my local host. So down here, it's going to check to see if there's an error with the connection to the database. So if you're somehow not able to connect the database, it'll throw you an error. So if I go back to filter, I've, include, I've told you what the config is. So now I'm doing a check on the get. Now get should always have something coming from HX. But just in case it doesn't come, I want to set a check and I would then, if it exists, I want to set the search. Now this here, what this is, is this is a ternary operator. This is the condition. Then it says, if this condition's true, we want to put pounds around the, the search, not pounds, uh, percents around the, the search, so that whatever you type can be found even inside the middle of each of those variables that are going to be looking at search. Then this here will say, otherwise, say put nothing in for search. So down here, we've got a select query that we're building. And we're going to be replacing the pound search in all of these spots down here. Now, notice up here, we did string to lower. And here in the query, we did lower. Lower comes for the SQL query. And then down here, we're going to connect to the database that we've set up. And then we're going to bind search to this search field. And this PDO helps with SQL injection. And that's part of this binding process using PDO. Then we execute the statement so that it runs. Then we get the result from that execution. And we are trying to fetch all of the results. Then we take those results. And each row of those results, we're going to output the artist ID, the first name, the last name, the email, and the city. So that is in two files not counting the configure file, the header, the footer, but reality, um, whatever header and footer and all that you have, as long as you have this input box for the search and then this place to put the data and then where you call it, you actually output just the options, then you will have a working piece of code. So we can say Carson. So that seems to work just fine. So have a happy day coding. Thank you.